Welcome to Statics. Conversion of Units Let's review how units are converted and look at an example. Usually in statics, for a given problem, we will use only one of the two unit systems. It will be entirely US customary or entirely metric units. However, initially we are intentionally mixing them to give you practice doing conversions from one system of units to the other. For units conversion, there is one simple key, learning to multiply by one. If we multiply a number by one, it doesn't change its magnitude. So what do we mean by multiplying by one when it comes to units? It means that you find an equivalent amount in the two systems. If I am converting a force from the US customary system to the metric system, I need to know a conversion factor. One conversion factor that is commonly used relates pounds and newtons. One pound is equal to 4.4482 newtons. When converting a length measurement, a common conversion factor is one foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meters, or one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. A lot of your calculators have these units of conversion built in, and there are many of them. But the key to doing the conversions is to use the same procedure, and that is multiplying by 1. Let's do an example. I will convert 2 kilometers per hour to units of meters per second. We start with our original value in units, 2 kilometers per hour. Let's first deal with the kilometers term. We want that to end up in meters. I will assemble a fraction that is equal to 1. The relationship between kilometers and meters is that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. I position the kilometers term in the denominator of the conversion factor so that it will cancel out the kilometers unit in the original value. Now I have meters in the numerator, which is right where I want it. Now I need to convert hours to seconds. I need to think about the relationship between hours and seconds. I can think in terms of minutes and hours and determine how many minutes are in an hour. Then I can think about the relationship between minutes and seconds and determine how many seconds are in those minutes. Or I can combine those factors into one and say that there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. Putting in our conversion term, one hour over 3,600 seconds, allows us to cancel the numerator, hours, from the conversion term and the denominator also hours from the initial term. Now we can multiply the constants and keep the remaining units, which leaves us with 2,000 meters on the top per 3,600 seconds, or 0 0.556 meters per second. 